In today's English lesson, we will be flying all the way across the country, the country of the United States. But right now, I am in a parking garage. In just a minute, I'll be entering the airport, and when I do, I need to put on my mask. So each state has their own laws, but we all have to follow the laws of the United States. We call that federal law, laws that every American citizen have to follow. And right now, um, when you enter an airport, that is like federal land because airplanes go from state to state and federal law says, I need to mask up. I need to put a mask on. Even though I'm in the state of New Hampshire, I, I don't have to wear a mask. I'm, I'm still in the parking garage. But as soon as I go through those doors, the mask has to go on. Hey, the first thing we can talk about are moving sidewalks. Yeah, it's like an escalator. We'll be on an escalator in a minute, but it's, uh, it moves. Welcome to Manchester Boston Regional Airport. Free wireless internet service is available on the Fly Manchester Wireless Network. For more information about airlines, concessions, or other airport amenities and services, please visit flymanchester.com. By the end of this English lesson, we will be in the state of Arizona. Now, here we have a, a courtesy phone. And a courtesy phone, that's another way to just say a free phone that you can use if you need it. Luckily, like most people, I have my cell phone. And now we are going to go down an escalator. The first thing you're probably gonna wanna do when you get to the airport is visit the ticketing booth so you can get your boarding pass, which I just did. Your boarding pass will allow you on the plane, but I was actually able to visit a kiosk and I could do everything myself. I could check in my bag. I have one bag that I have to check in. And I have this one that I'm going to carry on the plane. And we call that a carry-on bag. Now I'm gonna go up this escalator here and check in with security. I'll probably put the camera away when we go through security because uh, I don't want them to give me any problems with the camera. Luckily, it doesn't look like the line is too long. Hey, before we go in though, um, just want to teach you, they're playing a Rolling Stone song. Uh, move away from here. Just want to teach you grab and go. That's just what it sounds like. You can grab some food and go. You don't have to sit down and eat. They have some uh, extra masks if you need them. All right, I made it through security without too much of a hassle, without, without too much of a trouble. But I did have a knife in my backpack. I totally forgot. It was a really small knife. So I could have gone back to the ticket counter, checked it in, put it in my bag. It could have flown in another part of the plane, but I need to get to the plane pretty quickly. I don't wanna miss my flight. So I had to relinquish that knife. That's a fancy way to say, give it up. But that's what they asked me. They said, do you want to relinquish this knife? So I said, not really, but I don't have the time to go back and check it in. So it was, it was a knife that I got for working on a TV show a couple years ago. 
and it had like nail clippers and a bunch of things. I just, I forgot that it was in my bag. So that's gone, but uh, it was pretty painless. We might describe a situation that wasn't too bad as painless. You have to take off your shoes. You have to empty your pockets, put all of your bags in this bin, and then it goes through security and you get a quick scan and you go through security too. And it was pretty painless, except for the loss of that knife. So to get to Arizona, we first have to fly to Baltimore, Maryland. That's the first leg of our trip. Then we have a small layover in Baltimore. That's a, a layover is when you have to wait in an airport for another plane so you can get on another part of the flight, another leg of the flight. But it looks like we got a little while because there is no plane here yet. Our flight is here. We will be boarding in just a couple minutes. Guess what? The flight is packed. There are a lot of people that are gonna be on my flight. So much that they called the flight overbooked or oversold, which means there are more people than there are seats. So hopefully we will get a seat. If not, uh, I'm sure we'll get a seat because what they do is they usually offer a free flight for someone to take a later flight. So I need to get the Phoenix. I can't do that, but hopefully there'll be uh, hopefully there'll be enough seats for everyone. Oh. <laughs> All right, the way they do it here at Southwest is they board by alphabetical order. So A, B, and C, and they also do it numerical order. So by number, and it's one through 60. And my pass is, I am C35. So that means like I'm almost the last. So A1, would be the first person. So it's A1 through 60, then B1 through 60, and then C1 through 60. I'm number 35, so hopefully I have a seat, <laughs> like I said. I'm sure I will. Thank you.
on my flight to Phoenix. It was so loud on my flight from Portland to Baltimore, I couldn't talk. So I'm on my second flight now. Whatever, whatever. So I'll check back in in a little bit. Want to see the inside of an airplane lavatory? It's just a bathroom, but we say lavatory a lot. It's a tight squeeze, let me tell you. It's so tight here. Officially in Arizona. I'm sorry, I didn't record anything during my layover in Baltimore because I had to catch my flight. I was in the back of the plane and it took a long time for them to deplane. That might be a new word for you, deplane. That's when people are getting off the plane. So I had a really tight connection. I had like 20 minutes to get to my gate. The gate is where you meet the plane. So I couldn't record at all. I couldn't get anything to eat. I couldn't get anything to drink. So my throat is really dry. But I need to go to baggage claim right now to get my one bag. I carried on one bag and I checked in one bag. So baggage claim looks like it's down these escalators. Then I'm gonna get something to drink, something to eat, and find my hotel. Look at this, I see a vending machine right here. I think I'm gonna grab a drink right off the bat. I grabbed one of these, a Gatorade. brought their dog on a flight. All right, I found a, a quiet, a quiet little corner of the airport, uh, but it's really hard to talk with a mask. Yeah, so my um, connecting flight from Baltimore to Phoenix, it happened so quickly. I was supposed to have a layover that's a little bit longer, um, but it didn't happen. I couldn't get, grab any food or any drink. Uh, they didn't serve a meal on, I thought this was quieter, but it's really not. Maybe I should go outside. Um, yeah, they didn't serve a meal, so I am starving. I'm pretty tired, still getting over the sickness of a couple days ago. So I need to find some food and I need to find some transportation to my hotel. So I think I can take a shuttle there. Let's, let's go see if we can find the shuttle. All right, I think I'm gonna go back into the airport down here. 
and look for some food because I don't know if there will be any food near my hotel. I don't want to get to my hotel and not have any food and just know if you're going to eat at the airport, it's going to be more expensive. This was about $3.50, but at least it's here. At least I have it now. All right, we got bad news. Uh, nothing opened around here tonight. There's uh, quite a bit of the hotel that's block, uh, airport. I want to get to my hotel, but there's quite a bit of the airport that's blocked off now because it's uh, so late at night. So I guess we're going to have to leave the airport to find some food. All right, I'm outside of the airport right now. It is pretty crazy here trying to find a shuttle. I may end up having to take a taxi, I'm not sure. There is a guy across the street I might ask, but I was told that the shuttle will come pick me up here. Uh, they said door seven. So we're at door seven. the cost to get a taxi to the shore stay the shore stay um do you know that hotel shore stay yeah check with him, check okay. with him. oh check with him okay thank you hey the the shore stay hotel uh, you know what that is Century? the shore stay on um, Van Buren Street. Oh, okay. 30, 37. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, how much would that cost? $15 minimum. $15 minimum? Yeah. All right, let's do that then. Uh, you want to go? Yeah, I'll go there. Uh, yeah. All right, thank you. All right, thanks a lot. I was gonna wait for a shuttle, but I didn't know how long uh, uh, that was gonna. I don't think they have shuttle. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, those, <laughs> those big hotels, they are, they are one have shuttle. Maybe, I don't know. But, uh, so I might have been waiting for a while. Yeah. I just came in from uh, Maine. It's a lot hotter down here than it was up uh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, East Coast and Midwest is still cold. Yeah. I've never been to Arizona. Do I pay with uh, cash or card? Yeah, cash, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, it's Speak English with This Guy is the channel. Yeah, maybe during the day would be good, you know, to see, show them cactus and yeah. palm trees and you know, desert. Absolutely. Must get pretty hot in the summer. Oh yeah, June, July, August. It's super hot. You stay indoors during the, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the day? But you know, people listen, you know, uh, the car, they have air conditioning. Yeah. Uh, evening, sometimes good evening. Mm -hmm. The good thing is not uh, human, it's uh, dry heat. Ah. I can get pretty humid in Maine. Yeah, that humid is bad. You know, you sweat a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we, our, our highest temperature is probably like 90 degrees. Oh, that that 90 hour is super cool to us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it gets uh, 125, 130 here, right? Yeah, 115 <laughs> also. Jeez. Yeah. One day it hit 122. Oh. 
that time, you know, during the day, no landing. The tire can blow up. Oh, wow, I bet. You probably have to be careful when you grab your steering wheel. Uh, Too hot. Let me check it. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a room. Yeah. Oh, you have a room? Yes, sir. So, Ted, you free? Uh, oh, I have to. No, sorry, uh, I have, have to, to check in. Oh, check in. Okay. Yeah. Still uh, just waiting to check in here at the hotel. I might just have to eat a vending machine food tonight. I'm not sure. Oh, looks like I won't be eating ice cream though. It's out of order. All right, all checked in to the hotel. This place is a little sketchy though. I'm in one room, room 114 though. Looks like I'll be eating uh, out of a vending machine. I'll show you what I got when I get to the room. Oh, but it looks like there are some palm trees here and I've never seen palm trees in real life, I don't think. It looks like 114 might be down here somewhere. 102. Oh, 112. I thought I was 114. I guess now it's 112. It's 112. All right, let's check out the place. Just gotta find a light. I have palm trees right outside my door though. 112. The room uh, 114 was open. The door was open, I almost went in. Oh, here's the light. All right, so let's check out and see what, about a hundred bucks will buy you in Phoenix, Arizona, not far from the airport. Pretty basic, it looks like. Couple of lights here, a little TV. Let's get the lights on. Is that this might be a fridge. Oh, nope. Fridge and a microwave. Really dark though, right? Turn this light on. There's a map of the United States. So I started up here in Maine. Did I tell you my flight was canceled? So I had to drive to New Hampshire. Then I flew down there, flew down to Baltimore, and then all the way over here to Arizona, right by California. So pretty much flying across the country and I am extremely tired. Uh, let's see what I got out of, wait, whoa, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta look at the bathroom, right? And again, it's so dark, but it's big. But where are the lights? Hmm, there are no lights. Gotta be a light switch around here. So, oh, right there. I missed it the first time. It's clean. And there's the, the fan that's running. And the, the bathtub is pretty clean. We have some toiletries, and some, some body lotion, some, some shampoo, some conditioner. You put that in after you shampoo, I guess. I don't know, it's not like I have a lot of hair. Some facial soap. 
for your face. The adjective of face, <laughs> facial, facial soap. Ooh, some makeup remover. I'll use those later. Little coffee maker. It's a little hot in here too. I'm in Arizona. When I left, well, I don't know if when I left my house, but when I was supposed to leave, it was negative 28 degrees. I'm not sure if you saw that video I did like right before I found out I got COVID. It was negative 28 degrees Celsius. Hey Siri, what's the temperature right now? She's gonna, she's gonna tell us. It's, oh, I have my AirPods in. Um, 64 degrees. So I don't know what that is in Celsius, but I will put that up here. So, uh, big, big change in temperature there. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the AirPods that I'm wearing, there was a crying baby on the flight. There's always a crying baby on every flight, right? Well, these have something we call in English noise canceling. So you can't hear things that are around you and the noise canceling AirPods came in really handy. They were really helpful. And they might be tonight because uh, I hear people talking already. Um, I usually have a fan going. Oh, I could leave, uh, I gotta leave the light on. I usually have a fan in the bedroom that I'm sleeping in, in the corner of the room for something we call white noise. It's just noise that's, it's like constant. You really can't hear anything. And so, but I, there's a joining room. It, the door is locked. But that door leads to another room. I can hear them talking already. So hopefully they won't talk all night. Hopefully I can get some sleep. I am so tired, I might just fall asleep here really quickly. But I need to turn the air conditioning on because it is hot. Yeah, this guy from Maine needs it on full blast. That might be a new term for you. When you turn something all the way, you could turn your heat on full blast. You could turn the air conditioning on full blast. You could turn some music on full blast, like all the way up. This air conditioning does look a little dirty though. I don't know, oh, and I need to show you what I'm having for dinner. Arizona fruit punch. I figure since we're in Arizona, I need to get the Arizona fruit punch. And then uh, some cookies. These cost me a dollar. Uh, I think this was a dollar fifty. The taxi ride here was fifteen dollars, and then I gave the driver five dollars, so as a tip, because he was a good guy. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed going across the country with me. If you would like to see me go on a road trip, the northern part of the United States down to the southern part of the United States, I'll leave a playlist there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.